We are going to see a quick solution for error. No hosted parallelism has been purchased or granted. And this is the common error that you will face when you are trying to run a release pipeline on a new DevOps organization. And the reason for the error is you will not be given any of the free agents by default from Microsoft with its new policy. And we can see the official Microsoft documentation over here. And we can see there is a note. We have temporarily disabled free grant of the parallel jobs for the public projects and for certain projects in your organization. And beside the error, you will also be given with a link to request for the jobs. And there are basically two types of solutions for this. The first one is the one which I'm currently on the page, which is the parallelism request. And the second one is hosting a self-hosted agent. Here we can see it takes nearly two to three business days. In my personal experience, it took nearly two business days to grant request for me. And now the quick resolution for this would be having a self-hosted agent. So actually to build your code or to deploy your software using the Azure pipelines, you need to have at least one agent and you need to add more agents if you have more code eventually. And when your pipeline runs, the system begins one or more jobs and an agent is a computing infrastructure with installed agent software that runs one job at a time. Currently, there are two types of agents. We can see that in the official documentation itself. Currently, there are two types of agents over here. The first one is the Microsoft hosted one and the second one is the self hosted one. So Microsoft hosted one is a virtual machine which is being hosted by the Microsoft to run your agent. And the second one is the self hosted in which you can host your own agent on a virtual machine in which you want or in your personal PC also. And if you do not want to wait two business days and you want a quick solution to run your jobs at the moment, the self-hosted agents are the preferred one. So, and we are going to see how to install the self-hosted agent in an organization and you can run your pipelines in the project. So all you need to do is to click on the organization settings, which is on the bottom left. I need to click on the agent pools and here you can see there are Azure pipelines, which is the one which is hosted by the Microsoft and the second, the default one, which is the self hosted. And if you are fine to wait for two to three business days and you can go for placing the request from the Microsoft form. And now if you want a quick solution as a workaround and if you want to run the pipeline at the moment, the self hosted one is the preferred one. And click on the default and you can see these are the jobs which I executed uh, in my testing purpose and to install the self hosted you need to click on agents click on the agent and here you can see you can install for any kind of operating system here and there is no restriction from the Microsoft and here I'm having a Windows operating system and here I wanted to install self hosted for Windows you need to click on the download in which it will download the agent in which you need to configure and here you can see the file is downloaded. So let's try to open the PowerShell and let's execute the commands and make sure you are opening the PowerShell with admin permission. Right click and run as administrator. And we need to navigate to the C directory. So press CD dot dot to switch back to the previous directory. And currently we are at the C directory and let's try to copy paste the first command. It will just create a agent directory and it will Change the current directory to agent. And we are currently at the agent directory. And let's try to copy paste the second command. It will just extract the file from the downloads to the agent folder. And we have this uh, created now. So let's open the C directory. So this is my C directory. Let's refresh the page and here you can see agent directory is created and the files are extracted here. And let's run the other commands. So it is just saying to run the config.cmd command. So copy this and paste. When you do a copy paste, it is asking to enter the server URL. It is nothing but you need to copy the URL till the organization level. You can see Shanmuk SS is my organization and copy the rest URL. 
and you want enter the authentication type and here we are trying to access a personal authentication token so that you can click on enter here enter the personal access token so to get the access token click on the user settings at the top right and you can click on the personal access tokens you can see there is a token which is active but I'll create another token and currently I just need the full access and based on the access in which you need and you can select the requirements currently I just need the full access and I'll create the token and I can copy the token and paste here and it is asking to enter the agent pool name in which you want to install this particular agent so currently my name is the default one so I can press on enter and it is asking to enter the agent name in which you want to show currently Shenmok is my computer name so I am very fine with keeping the same name now it is asking for the work folder from your current PC so you can just uh, create a, a folder in any of the directory in which you want and so I created a directory in my G so you can enter the folder name in which you have created and you want to run this as a service and no I don't want to run this as a service it's because I want to run this as a host all you need to do is click on and yes and enter and enter again and now let's go back to the Azure DevOps and the organization settings over here and in the organization settings when we click on agent pools and we can see the default but currently it will be in the offline state we can see currently it is in offline it is because we put yes so that uh, it will not auto run the agent so to start the agent all you need to do is click on run so in the agent folder in which it got created we can see a run command if I maximize this and you can see the run.cmd so all I need to do is I need to execute the run command for that I need to enter dot slash run dot cmd and you can see it is listening for the jobs now and you can see it is in online and you can just go to the release pipeline in which you want and you can just uh, select the agent so for now I'm doing a very test release currently I already have a pipeline been configured which is pointing to my other environment and you can see the job and task and here you can click on the agent job so currently you can see it is pointing to the Microsoft pool in which I, I already have an approved trial in which I place a request and now I want to change this to my default so when I change this to the default it will point out all my agent to my self hosted agent you can click on save and you can click on create release and you can release the pipeline now the agent will be hosted in my self hosted and the pipeline will be executed and once the pipeline is succeeded and you can see the logs and this is the previous pipeline which I executed in my previous project and here you can see the agent name is my machine name and it is running on the directory in which I defined uh, which is the G DevOps work and this is the job which I previously executed from my self hosted agent.